I'm going to talk about a less known group of prehistoric creatures than any of my previous fossil journal entries. Sea crocodiles. Marine predators that lived from the early Jurassic into the early Cretaceous. Thalatosuchians. Their name derived from the ancient Greek word thalassa, which means sea or ocean, and suchus, also an ancient Greek word meaning crocodile, or now used as a suffix in naming many crocodilians. They were marine predators living at the same time as dinosaurs, pterosaurs, and the contemporary giant river crocodiles, which are much more famous. Crocodiliomorphs, the clade of crocodile-like creatures, are among the oldest group of reptiles with members still living today. The first crocodile-like creatures appeared in the late Triassic, around 225 million years ago. And they branched into many different groups, some much more adept on the land than in the water. And the first of them were land-dwelling creatures, um, very similar to um, uh, to lizards today, though they're probably a bit more upright. Uh, well, less splayed than lizards. And it would make sense for them to have evolved first as land creatures, because at this time, Pangea was only beginning to break apart. Uh, the land was mostly arid, not a lot of the lush riparian, uh, that means riverside, ecosystems uh, that we think of crocodiles uh, today in. And there was only the one ocean until the beginning of the Jurassic. It, it was a, open, a lot of open ocean. Not a lot of opportunity for a land-based creature at this time uh, to become truly aquatic until later. Today, only a tiny shadow remains of the diversity crocodilian morphs once had. Today we pretty much only have those uh, riparian and one seagoing crocodile. Now before we get into this topic, let me make the distinction between this group and other more well-known prehistoric crocodilians. Thalatosuchians were a branch of crocodile-like creatures, not ancestral to living crocodilians today, but a branched off group from some of these early forms. Their limbs were paddle-like, similar to plesiosaurs, and their tails ended in vertical flukes, just like those of sharks and ichthyosaurs. And they lacked the prominent armor-like scoots on their backs that the river crocodiles have. They are often called marine crocodiles, distinct from the saltwater crocodiles of today the, and their ancestors, which are in truth large river crocodiles that happen to have the adaptations to be able to venture into seawater. Also, the super crocodilians, such as Dinosuchus, closely related to alligators, and Sarcosuchus, which was more closely related to modern gharials, were not in this group either. And I'll be talking about them in separate videos. Thalatosuchia consisted of two named families, Metriorhynchidae and Teleosauridae. Metriorhynchidae included not species, it, it's, it's very hard to uh, determine a fossil creature as a, uh, as a single species, but genera. Uh, Geosaurus, Tyrannoneustes, Dacosaurus, Cricosaurus, and others. While Teleosaurus included uh, Pelagosaurus, Platysuchus, and Teleosaurus, this last one being completely different from the similar sounding Tylosaurus, which was a Mosasaur, aquatic reptiles more closely related to snakes than crocodilians. Teleosauridae fossils have been uncovered in Europe, Asia, and Africa, 
while Metriorhynchids are known from fossils found in Europe and South America. Although during this, this time, the, the Jurassic, all of the continents were still very close together, as, again, Pangea had only recently begun to break apart, and the oceans had very little true separation, save for the enclosed shallow sea between South America and Africa, which were still linked together, still one, and North America. Now, this was called the Central Atlantic Ocean, uh, existing long before the true Atlantic was ever born. There was only the giant Pacific Ocean, uh, and encircled by the continents, the deadly Tethys Ocean, the home of the Plesiosaurs, Pliosaurs, and the Latisuchia. The Jurassic marine crocodiles filled an ecological niche similar to ichthyosaurs and mosasaurs, and became effectively the top marine predators in the time uh, between the decline of the ichthyosaurs and the rise of the mosasaurs. The other marine reptile group at large during this time uh, were the plesiosaurs, and a subgroup within them uh, with short necks called the pliosaurs, examples being Chronosaurus and Lyplerodon. Many of the Thalatosuchia were of medium size among marine predators. Dacosaurus and Tyrannoustes, for example, were about 15 feet long. Today that would be a large crocodile, but in these times it, it pales in comparison to the super crocs. These were, these were macro predators, but few would have been the apex of their day, apart from possibly Machimosaurus, a telosaur that reached almost nine and a half meters, approaching 30 feet in length. Now all these sea crocs had skulls with so strong snouts and teeth, similar to those of killer whales and tyrannosaurs, um, somewhere aspects in between, making them proportionally powerful. So far, little else can be easily certain about them. It is possible, given that no nests or eggs directly linked to the Latisuchians has been found, that they gave birth to live young at sea, but it is not yet known if they had evolved the adaptations to do so. It is also not certain as to what exactly their ecological overlappings and competitions with each other or what the plesiosaurs and pliosaurs, pliosaurs were. They remain a little understood group.